As we all know, the brain is composed of neurons, and these neurons are, are connected together by electrical current or by electricity. So once there's a problem with electricity inside the brain, the neurons are going to be firing in all directions, and that's going to cause what we call a seizure. And of course, a neuron is being fired, a neuron is being active, means there's, there's going to be movement, means there's going to be something that's going to be activated, because neurons control the body. So as you can see in this video, on the, right, in the kid on the right was completely normal and just talking with his friend and shooting a video, and when he randomly had an attack of seizure. Now this is called a tonic seizure, which we will come in to discuss right now, and how to differentiate between different types. The tonic seizure, as you can see, is just suddenly appeared out of nowhere, and then that is called an episode of seizure, right there. Oh my god, are you being serious? Luke, seriously? Oh my god, um... Guys, he's having a seizure. He has some seizures. No, I'm actually being serious. He has seizures sometimes. Oh my god, he's having a seizure. Oh my god. Sh Luke, are you okay? Oh, oh flipping heck. Now, seizures can be partial or generalized. And what we mean by that is that the origin of the seizure can be partial, meaning that there's only a group of neurons that are responsible for causing the seizure. Very likely, this group of neurons tend to be in the temporal area. Or we can say generalized. Generalized means that the entire brain just started firing all over at once. In partial seizure, there's something we call aura. Aura is basically a smell of something, or hearing something, or seeing something before the seizure occurs. But, and this makes sense, because in partial seizure, there is only a focal stimulation of certain, certain neurons, or certain centers in the brain. Meaning that if the temporal area has these diseased neurons that usually cause the seizures, as we know the temporal area is responsible for hearing, so if these neurons started firing, this is going to stimulate hearing. So the patient is going to hear something before the seizure occurs. We do not have aura in generalized type of seizure. So if, so if if a patient has aura, this is a conclusive diagnosis of partial seizure. There are three subtypes of partial seizure: either simple, which means that the patient is conscious during the attack, or complex, which means that the patient is unconscious during the attack, or secondary generalized, which means that this seizure will proceed to be generalized. There are multiple types for generalized seizure, the first of which is called absent seizure, also known as petite mal seizure, which means that the patient is suddenly going to stare at space and then not say anything, will just be like frozen in time, and then he's going to proceed to talk to where he stopped talking before, unknowing that he had a seizure at all. And there is tonic seizure, which means that the patient is suddenly going to be as hard as a rock, he's just going to drop on the floor and be so, so fixed and strong. And then there's also the clonic seizure. Clonic means the patient is going to fall and is going to start shaking all over the place. And there is tonic clonic, which is basically a mix of these two. A mix of these two. So basically, the patient is going to fall down. He's going to be moving, and then he's going to stop and be hard as a rock, and then he's going to start moving again. And there is finally the atonic seizure, which is patient suddenly going to drop and then he's going to stand back up like nothing happened. The atonic, the atonic seizure is commonly mistaken for syncope. Now, when it comes to, most the, to the most common causes, it's really important to know the, the most common cause for each age group. For infants, the most common cause is febrile, febrile seizure. Febrile seizure basically means that the temperature is so high that it leads to seizure, and this is usually preceded by infection. Now, for adults, the most common cause is tumors, and for elderly, obviously, is strokes. Okay, now that we know enough about seizures, what is epilepsy? Epilepsy basically means that there is recurrent attacks of seizures of unknown cause. So basically, if an adult person has a tumor in his brain and he had a seizure, and two weeks later he had another seizure, and a month later he had another seizure, this doesn't mean that he has epilepsy. Epilepsy has to be of unknown cause. Finally, status epilepticus is the state of having a seizure for more than five minutes. And the reason we emphasize on it so much is because if the seizure proceeds for more than five minutes, it's unlikely that the seizure will stop. Basically, this, the patient is going to keep seizing until he eventually dies, unless we give him the benzodiazepines.